Uh, y'all, we all know about the DJ Academic and Sharp drama. Well, DJ Academic decided to take a shot at Sharp, and we about to check that out right now. Let's, let's check it out. Uh, I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. Hopefully, y'all can understand. This is what we finna donate the money to, gang. This is her name right here. You show live here no more. Don't, don't worry about that. Her name is Misty Dawn Marie Evelyn. Here's Sharp when he was human trafficking women. <laughs> Disgusting human being. Oof. Oof. Disgusting human being. Okay? Here's Sharpie. You know, he couldn't make an honest dollar any other way, so he was just, he was manipulating and pimping women. This was one of his victims. I hear she got a story to tell. This is a seasoned bitch, too. She was born in 1980. Damn. Okay, she's 40 years of age right now. Apparently, he had Okay, I, I just got to say this real quick. Uh, I'm, I'm going to shut up and we're going to watch this some more. But isn't it funny how he blurs her face, but you can see it in the beginning with her name and a whole address? <laughs> like, <laughs> on Needle. This is up on his channel, by the way, if y'all was wondering. She was taking all type of illicit drugs because Sharp kept her high and ready to work. I want to donate the money from the Caldego. The Caldego t-shirts to her. Caldego. Sharp, you ruined this young woman's life. You got her hooked on drugs. Mm. And you sold her vagina to many niggas in Las, in Las Vegas. Oh, okay. Okay. I want to donate the money from them shirts to her. Okay, okay. If so, you a man, hold on, hold on, you hold will on. match it. I know you are. So, uh, so I want to say this real quick. So, uh, I'm not I'm not a person that idolized pimps, right? I know a lot of pimps. As if you talk to anybody that that used to hook or, or used to be an escort, um, do you got uh, uh, what is it called? Gorilla pimps. You know, people that like that human traffic women beat them, slap them, get them hooked on drugs. Uh, we'll, we'll just grab them off the street and put them on the blocks they want. Um, crazy stuff like that. But there are a subset of pimps, and once again, I'm not glorifying them or, or, or co-signing any type of pimpage uh, but they um, you got some of them that don't do all that you know I like the I like to and I mean it's, it's a bad it's a bad comparison but it's almost like how the American workforce is right you got so many companies out there that will exploit you and pay you very little money and not give you any benefits off it and then there's some of them out there so they're making money off you, they take care of you. And you got some pimps like that, Corden and Sharp, that's the type of pimp he is. If the women don't want to do what they're doing, they can leave, there's no problem. He don't hook them on drugs and everything of that nature. But, our boy DJ Academic here begs to differ. That's why I just continue, let me shut up. Caldego. Sharp! Caldego, I need Who that. is Misty, Sharp? Who is Misty? We're gonna donate the money to Misty. Okay. All you did was take advantage of this woman while we're gonna put money in her pockets. She don't gotta do nothing for us. Oh, so let me let me also uh, elaborate on one thing. So the money he's talking about um, donating, because uh, as you heard the little um, sound effect, call Dago. Um, I know I'm doing terrible that of his voice today. I'm doing terrible impression, but um, he DJ Academic made shirts of that. So if if he he's any money at least i don't know about now up until this point but on this stream here he's going to donate to this woman if he can talk to her so i think he made like like three g's that day on shirts i think something like that three to five something like that from what i heard when your horny ass couldn't get yourself off you were sleeping with her and if you couldn't sleep with her because you couldn't make an honest dollar because you're a bum you used to sell her vagina we don't do that brother this is why we can't support niggas like you. <laughs> All that slick talking, pimp name, slick back shit. We need some accountability, Sharp. Who is Misty? Why you gotta yell into the mic, bro? Like you heard my ears. I had to turn it down. I had to. I actually had it turned down in the very beginning, and I noticed that on my my monitor here, the 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 audio wasn't good. So I had to turn it up. But God, he's always ear split. But now, nah, I mean. I, I personally think if we just if we just legalized um, sex work of that nature, um, women wouldn't have to go through this. They wouldn't have to. It, it would cut down because uh, um, Sharp actually was talking about that with another pimp. I forgot the guy's name, but they were talking about that, and they were also talking about how legalizing uh, the use of marijuana in certain states and things of that nature, how that was affecting 
the black market. So the same thing with and he and he and they were talking about how like OnlyFans, right? You got women out there, they do their OnlyFans, they you know, they 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 do a, a variety of uh things on there and, and sometimes they sleep with their fans, the people that are paying them, you know, and he was talking about how that's you know, how that goes with pimping and all this other crap. You know what I'm saying? And so this is why we need to legalize it because you'll have less you, there's no need for a pimp when a woman could go to an actual facility that that where they get uh tested for diseases they have a, a, a roof over the head air condition a clean bed and security they don't have to they, there's no need for a pimp at that point you know what i'm saying so i get it i don't really you know i, I sometimes i don't want to knock people's hustles but you know uh, this is not i don't think that's a good hustle you know in my opinion, but hey, whatever. We want to find this woman. I want to get her on the live stream, and I want to donate to her. Oh, if he does, I got to cover it. I'm covering she this. She deserves. If he gets this woman to talk to him, I will definitely cover this. It might be a live stream. I don't know. To be looked after. She deserves not to be trafficked by someone like a predator. Ooh. Like Sharpie. Ooh, called you a predator, Sharpie. Sharpie can't get nothing off with, with no niggas, but of course, he can get it off with some females. Oh, we wow. don't tolerate that. Bruh. Sharpie, we, uh, I checked the last math. We $3,000 and, and counting. If somebody can find Misty, this is, and by the way, we going to make sure that Sharp don't get the money because I don't know if Sharp's still pimping her. <laughs> like, no oh, wow. So we got to make sure she she no longer, she got to talk to us on stream that to make sure she no longer has to do with anything with the predator known as Sharp. Call this man a straight predator. Oh, according to Sharp, he has retired from pimping, but hey, you never know, right? We will send her the money. Right now, it's $3,000 plus in counting. Okay. Call Dago. <laughs> Sharp, <laughs> you can try to atone for your sins. Wow. Right now, the chat niggas have racked up $3,000 at least in merch sales for the Call Dago t shirts. We're only selling them for $30 a piece. Do the oh, math. Okay. You could match it, but you won't. <laughs> so not only, not only is he calling this man a predator, saying he was human trafficker, he, now he's saying that he won't even match the money to, to get her on the show and stuff. He's, he's calling him out on all fronts. This shit's hilarious. We didn't expect you to. That's why we're here. Look like there's a lot of misty or mystery in your history, brother. Ooh. But um, we were looking for this woman. The woman who was caught was sharp. When Sharp was allegedly f***ing on her and also pimping her in Las Vegas. Holy shit. If you could tell me or put me in contact with Misty, uh -oh. I, I have a reward for you. Uh-oh. Sharp, I know you're a baseless, desperate pimp. Wow. Who might, who's so desperate for money. I see that. You're like, Yo, right, give me 100000 Give me 100000 Kick rocks, nigga. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving this. I, 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 I remember, well, I, I, I covered their last conversation. They were going at each other pretty hard, but I find this, this particularly hilarious. I know you hope to go get some money out of this, but this is for the ladies that you victimize. Oof. I can't wait. I got to go see if Sharp responds to this. By the way, if y'all haven't noticed, keep in mind, we have 3,000 right now, and we want to get it to 5,000. 5,000 looks like a right number. Go to djacademicstv.com. It's only going to be available for a couple of days more. The Call Dago t-shirt right here. <laughs> Call Dago. Down is the goddamn discount code. Oh, if, uh, if you want to support your boy, you can go down in the description and buy you a Petty Fam t-shirt. Shameless plug, shameless plug. We're showing a nigga like Sharp the reason why he'll never mention me again. You heard me? We're going to be donating to his victims. Oof. Somebody say I'm Captain Save a Ho. This ain't Captain Save a Ho when the niggas over here. Listen, listen. Let me tell you this. You ain't a man if you need a bitch to go get some money. Yeah. You need a bitch to go get you some money, you're not no man. A man, we take care of bitches. We ain't looking at the bitch like they got to sell themselves oh. to get us money. If that's what you think is Captain Save a Ho by trying to say a nigga who can't earn a dollar by his, is lonely. Oh, he's calling you out, Sharp. Nigga, he's at no jumper right now struggling to earn a dollar. <laughs> Damn, yo. That nigga can't get no views if he's not screaming at bitch. <laughs> oh, come on, man. We don't need no <laughs> bitches to get us cash. Oh, wow. If you think that, if you think that's some save a whole shit, nigga, you got a problem. Oof. I'm just trying to say, like, I feel bad for them chicks. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to just say this once again. Like I said, I know there's pimps out there that don't do all that beating them, getting them on drugs. But, like, 
you hear all kinds of stories if you actually sit down and talk to these sex workers and stuff and there's all kinds of uh just violence and 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 essay they're getting them get essay them getting beaten them getting hooked on drugs i mean all kinds of crazy stuff so i mean i hate to say you know like they say a bad apple spoils the bunch and i'm not just saying that just like oh yeah it's just it's two percent of pimps and the rest of them are good but it's just it's too much disgusting depraved behavior going on when it comes to the the sex work industry and this is why we need to legalize it and tax it definitely we need to and that's why things like only fans and stuff like that is it is, is better for these women instead of them going out there on the streets some dude kidnapping them and all kinds of crazy stuff so i i feel a lot of i mean it all depends on who you talk to some people respect the pimp game and some people whether they're they're a civilian or not don't and i and i told you know so to each his own right? call they go tip down <laughs> Call Dago. I ruined that nigga sharp. Oof. All right. Anyway, moving on. All right, and that's it. So basically, call sharp predator. Say he was human trafficking women. He's trying to get that the woman um that one of one of uh, uh let's say for lack of a better term uh, one of Sharp's former employees um out there to come on the show and, and speak. So let's see how this develops because I'm, I'm 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 very invested at this point. All right, I'll see you guys on the next episode. All right, later. Oh, like and subscribe if you have not already. But peace.